What's up guys, Justin Digivani here, and in this 3 Minute Thursday video, we are going to be focusing on Shutter today. So, let's go! Alright, so welcome back from the intro. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of great opportunities when you're controlling your shutter. You could basically just like set the mood. You could be, you could tell a story, and it's all about your imagination. So, let's put three minutes on the clock. <laughs> let's go. So let's start out with a fast shutter. It freezes the action. It shows the power of the image, um, depending on what you're photographing. Now it could be anywhere from photographing water or like even animals, like the wings of a bird. For this instant, uh, photographing this hummingbird, which I'll show you guys here. Uh -huh. My shutter was about, I think it was like six thousandths or like eight thousandths of a second just to photograph this bird mid-flight. And the reason being is because these hummingbirds, they flap their wings about 70 times per second. Yeah, super fast. So you need a fast shutter when trying to freeze something that moves relatively quick. Another reason to use a fast shutter when you're out photographing is when you're doing macro. Now for this instant, I was photographing the land through someone's eye. Yes, uh, <laughs> I had my macro lens out and I was essentially photographing a the reflection of a tree in someone's eye, like right in the pupil which I'll show you guys here. Now, that was a lot of concentration, but also, more importantly, it was a fast shutter. I did, if I didn't have a fast shutter, I wasn't able to get that image. So now for the slow shutter. This is where your imagination kind of lets loose a little bit. You're essentially blurring different sections into the images. You're, you're kind of showing like more motion um, to the photograph. Like when you're doing a waterfall, good example is when I went to Ohio and there was a waterfall coming off of a cliff into a little tide pool. Now in the tide pool, there's, there was a bunch of autumn leaves that were just floating around. Since the waterfall was flowing in, it actually created a, a whirlpool for those leaves. So I put on a neutral density filter, I made the lens darker and I cranked up my shutter so it was, a, it was, I think it was about 15 seconds and I came up with this image, which I'll show you guys here. So you can see the possibilities of what you can do. And it is, it's, a, it's amazing. You can do so much um, when you have like a longer exposure. And one of the things that you could also do, uh, this is big time with nighttime photography, is you can see more in the night sky. So if you're outside photographing the Milky Way, you could crank up your uh, your shutter up to like 30 seconds. Or if you have a cable release attached to your camera and go into the bulb setting and then click it and then push it up. Um, when you do that, your camera, your camera shutter is open as long as that button's pressed. So you could get however long you want um, and just to fill up the night sky. <laughs> your camera will pick up different stars and also the Milky Way galaxy a lot better than what your eye can. So you can see bunch, a bunch of stars, tons of stars. And I'll show you guys a photograph that I did up in uh, ancient, ancient Bristlecone Pine Forest. This is probably one of my favorite images um, just because like you'll see it and you're just like wow that's amazing so i photographed this tree that was like five thousand years old what five thousand years old four thousand six hundred years ago uh writing is developed in the summer of egypt yes this is how that old that is just to kind of give you a mindset of like timeline wise didn't make it but i had a lot of like information to kind of get out there and you know try to help you guys out so uh whoopsies 
All right, so that's it for this time being. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Yes. <laughs> um, and if you want to see more of the videos that I produce, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, until then, I will see you all in the next video. See ya.